help our mommy. Huh? You're helping your mommy. Huh? What are you doing? I'm eating something for mommy. I oh, yeah, put. <sighs> Almost gone. Hello, my young people. Welcome to the final part of this vlog. Thank you for following me from part one, part two, and now we are in part three. So, if you have toddlers that are traveling with you, or if you have toddlers generally, this is a pap you can make for them. I actually went ahead to dry the pap because I need the weight to be less while traveling with it. So here you just mix your corn, your millet, your um, guinea corn together with aya that's um tiger nuts dates coconuts and all that after blending it after um soaking it for two to three days you blend it and sieve it you know how they make pap now uh -huh. after that you dry it if you're going to travel with it dry it to be very dry after drying it this is me blending it after it is fully dried so i'll blend it and then i put it in a ziplock this is how it looks like after blending it it looks it comes in a powdery form after you finish doing the whole scenario that comes with it you just dry it because you need it to be very dry if you're traveling with it if you want it to pass through immigration this is how you're going to do it so this is just me doing the pap i'm going to be traveling with in all i did like two ziploc bags how the pap will look like since I already before I started doing the whole batch, I had already made out some pap. The trick of this is you mix when you mix it with water, mix it with water, like let it mix properly. Still comes out as pap, and there is no umboro inside. So, it's, so that's what we are doing. Hi guys, so this is exactly um, two weeks to our travel dates and I went to collect, uh, what do they call it, um, scale from the guy that normally sells gas for me so that I could weigh all my luggages. So maybe I'm just going to, this video, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm traveling with, how I weighed my luggage, how many bags I'm going with, like in all. So this is it. I'm going to give my daughter the phone to video. So anything she videos, just like that. So this is the skill I'm using, this one, and this is just one of the bags. So the next person that is going to be, you're going to be seeing is my daughter's hand. <laughs> next, come on, come on. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning.
So after we said our goodbyes, we proceeded to the gates. I didn't video that part because it was just somehow. So when you get to that gate, if you're going to the Abuja airport, you're going to see the immigration people from the first part of the gate. You give them your passport, they'll check your visa and all that. Then you pass your bag through the security checks. That's where they ask you to open your bag. If you're carrying palm oil, it will not fly. If you're carrying goat's meat, it will not fly. If you're carrying kilishi, it will not fly at this point. So if you want to know how you're going to do it, just send me a DM on Instagram. I'm going to tell you how you can do it. So aside that, there is nothing else. So you're going to pass like two checks before you enter into before you enter the main area there are no covid checks there are no yellow fever checks as far as i know so this is me bringing out our passports this is where you're going to give them your passport to look at so bring out your passport beforehand and then here we are weighing our luggages you're going to weigh all your luggages here and wrap all your luggages here so this is just what i'm doing wrapping of luggages costs 1k per bag so this guy was actually helping me to check my luggages there were some that were more and there were some that were less so he just tried helping me to balance the whole bags to be the same thing i know by now you'll be thinking what is this woman carrying in all these bags where is she going to with all these bags i'm going to be showing you in the next video everything i packed i packed like five ghana must go bags and three bags yes work fast we just finished wrapping our luggages was um, one one thousand naira each so eight of them was eight thousand naira then the guy gave me maca to write name and number our luggages let's so stop running so that's just it. We're going to where we're going to sit down now and wait. They said um, but um, they're going to open the booking gates by 3:50. So until then. So at this point, we we're done with immigration and all the checks. Our passport was already stamped at this point. You can't take food beyond this point. So I had to feed my kids here, give them all the food, all the water, so that at least before we enter the plane they will be satisfied and they will not give any issues so if you have kids come with something they are going to eat because the waiting time from when you land to the at the airport to when you're going to take off is going to be long so come with something they are going to eat so this is us finishing everything that we brought with us the whole food for your baggage allowance you are entitled to 223 kg one hand luggage weighing 7 kg and either a school bag a handbag or a laptop bag if you have a child below two years of age the child is also entitled to this amount of luggage so all in all we had 8 23 kgs four hand luggages and two school bags that's a laptop bag a school bag and my handbag if you're flying qatar airways and you're a student below 30 years of age you are entitled to an extra 23 kg so go on their website go on qatar.airways.com and register in their student club so that you'll be entitled to an extra 23 kg so if you're below 30 years of age you are entitled to three 23 kg bags once hand luggage and either a school bag a laptop bag or a handbag that's nice right it's only Qatar airways that can give you this <laughs> so we're just here sitting down waiting with toyo baby that's one of my husband's cosmates we met at the airport so we're just sitting down here waiting for our flights we waited here for about 20 minutes until it was time to go so this is when we were going to board our flights and at this point, they were telling us that Kilo is not entitled to a hand luggage, that he's too small to have a hand luggage. So this guy offered to help us carry our hand luggage as his because he was not holding any hand luggage. God bless you. If you have not subscribed to my channel at this point, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. 
turn on your post notification bell so that each time i post a new video you're going to be notified please give this video a big thumbs up so that youtube can be able to share my video to everyone that needs to see this content share my video to your family and friends post it on your status post it on your instagram post it on your facebook post it everywhere possible please just do well to share my videos support my youtube channel thank you for all those that have been supporting for all my day ones those that have been following me from day one thank you guys for your support i don't take it for granted so these are all the things they gave us on the flight they gave us a comforter they gave us earmuffs toothbrush um that thing they used to use and cover the eyes i don't know the name eh? they give us socks every every so we've come to the end of this video when we landed at point of entry we were, we were only asked if we know where we were going to the airbnb we we're going to stay and how to get there we said yes and they stamped our passports and we moved see you in the next one bye love you